international travel in 2021 is definitely not a walk in the park. It's okay. It's only going to get better from here. Right? Right. Yes. Okay. Good. Let's I am go. so excited for this. Let's do it. Chin chin. <laughs> Cheers. Afaristo. Afaristo. Thank you in <laughs> Greek. If you can't tell by our accent. We're Brittany and Drew. And after seven years of van life, two and a half of which we spent rolling around Europe and Africa, today we leave the roads of America behind to explore the lands of afar once again. If we can leave, that is. When you look up the things that you need to have prepared for a trip of this magnitude, and then you're thrown this when you show up. But before we embark on this wild ride, let's take in a deep breath. and let it out. And now, it's time to enjoy the show. They're not letting us get on this flight. What blows my mind the most is on American Airlines website when I checked it last night, the United States traveling through London for Greece says no proof of COVID-19 test results required for vaccinated travelers. To be honest, it made us both sort of nervous to talk about the vaccine on our YouTube channel. But the story just started to unfold and we felt it needed to be shared. And so here we go. We're here to get our vaccine. Felt like the right thing to do, especially if we're hoping to fly somewhere and travel. And I guess we're just gonna do this. It's going to be fine. Okay, do a champ. Well, I guess it is over. It really wasn't so bad. I imagined it to be a lot more painful. <laughs> I'll put a little butterfly drawing on your band-aid for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Given hundreds of these, so I better right. at it by now. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Good job. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Good job, babe. Thank That's you. Not, not bad, right? Official. Yeah, it just feels like a bee sting. Yeah. Even less than that. Yeah, truly. Now rub it. You gotta rub, rub it. Rub it really good. So then it disperses. Yeah, it is actually a good idea to yeah, keep it in right. motion today. Okay. Why does it hurt so bad? Because <laughs> I slug bugged you. It feels like that. I know. Does it look? It's like all numb. It, it oh hurts. my! I'm just kidding. Stop! It hurts right here. <laughs> it's weird, right? I think you just gotta like move it. Push it around. Yeah. Chicken wing. Chicken, Chicken wing. wing. <laughs> <laughs> These are the side effects. <laughs> yeah. Whichever arm you got injected in moves like a chicken for the chicken first wing. 24 hours. So here we are. We're going to miss our flight. But at least we can get a test done here at the airport. We're on the air train going to Terminal 1 where we can do that. Let's just hope we can catch another flight tonight, please. Hopes and dreams are not crushed, they're just put on hold a little bit longer. All right, Drew's talking to our nurse friend over here, asking how long would it take for us to get our COVID test results if we used those kits that we bought from the pharmacy. And our friend told us we would get the results within 15 minutes. Here at the airport, they're going to charge us $220 per person versus using the test kits that we have with us now. I kind of think that's a no-brainer. Wish that we had bought more of them now. But you know what? You only know what you know when you know it. Oh. International travel in 2021 is definitely not a walk in the park. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. To follow your dreams, you know? It might have some more frustrations and headaches and testings, but whatever. It's what it takes, you know? Say la vie. Had the testing kit out, logged in to be able to do it because you have to have a remote person guide you through the process. At this point, we had already missed our original flights. And if we were to wait three more hours in order to take our COVID tests, we would be missing the last available flight to Greece for that night too. It's not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to pay. I just wish the instructions and guidelines had been very clear about this whole situation and we would have just went to a CVS or Walgreens. And simple as that. What a journey, guys. The teamwork makes the dream work. That's right. There's always a solution to any problem that arises. Everything is figure outable. <laughs> you all right? Good job, babe. Just like a little dusting. No, I wasn't Things too we bad. do for travel. Here's an additional thing I want to point out. When we go to the American Airlines app, it shows our flight, even though we're obviously not on the plane because we're awaiting our COVID test results. 
But right here, view health and travel restrictions. I click on it. American Airlines knows we're going through London Heathrow. We're going to Greece, obviously. Fully vaccinated travelers, right here, that's us. Fully vaccinated travelers must have proof of vaccination showing they received their last acquired dose at least 14 days before travel. No proof of COVID-19 test results required for vaccinated travelers. Fully vaccinated travelers are not required to have a proof of negative COVID-19 test results before travel. If that doesn't hit the point home, right there, clearly on the American Airlines app, I don't know what does. You got your suitcase open over here. What's going on? Well, now that I know we have another full day of travel tomorrow, I'm trying to pack snacks. Our original flights had us leaving JFK at 6.25 p.m. and arriving to Athens, Greece the next day at 1.55 p.m. With less than a two-hour layover at London Heathrow, our new flights had us on the next flight to Greece, which wasn't until 10 p.m. that night with a now nine hour layover in London Heathrow, arriving to Athens, Greece at 11 p.m. that night, local time. Yeah, but the only thing that's making all of this better right now is the fact that we have our athletic greens. <laughs> so I know that we're gonna get our vitamins and minerals and good things that our bodies need to be stable, strong, and healthy, to keep our immunities healthy, especially traveling through all these airports as well as our brains, our gut, our energy levels. This stuff takes care of it all. I even have a special travel mug so that I can have my athletic greens no matter where we end up. <laughs> this was a travel must have for me. So you know what? You can't always predict what's gonna happen in the future, but you can definitely set yourself up for success and athletic greens helps us do that. So if you wanna join us, and just being able to nourish yourself no matter where you are. Whether we're traveling through airports, hiking on trails, or just living life in our van, doing all that we can to be the strongest and healthiest version of ourselves, then go ahead and check out our link below. By doing so, you will get five free bonus travel packs and a full year supply of vitamin D3 and K2, which is in my toiletry bag. What a day, guys. It's okay, it's only gonna get better from here. Right? Right. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Since we're just sitting here waiting, I've had some time to dig around on my phone because it really just irks me, this whole situation. This is the UK Embassy's website. It says persons transiting who have a layover in the UK and are in the UK for less than 24 hours are not required to take a COVID-19 test to meet the new US testing requirement. I hope that's clear, guys. Not just in what I'm saying, but also the screen. And the manager of American Airlines said, nope, that's not the case. That's not what they're requiring today. And I like, I'm absolutely perplexed by that. And the UK government is saying that we don't need one for airside travel if we're transiting through the country and just passing. When you look up the things that you need to have prepared for a trip of this magnitude, and then you're thrown this when you show up. It's just frustrating. All right, I'm done venting. <laughs> we just got our email that shows the results. Here we go, dear Drew Newman. They did keep their word and got back to us an hour. I see green. I got Not a negative yet. test. Yay, That's okay. great news. Yep, green. All right, we got our printouts. Feels good to be on to the next step of this process. Feeling pretty exhausted, but a little bit refreshed. We were able to wash our faces here at Heathrow. It's now noon London time, which is about 7 a.m. back in New York. We slept about four hours on the plane, and when we were coming through customs, we explained the situation, and the gentleman with British Airways was so kind, and he said we either needed to have the PCR test or the vaccine card since we were just transiting through for two hours, which now is a seven-hour layover. So Drew and I have had seamless travel for the past how long have we been together, babe? 12 years, so you know what? If this is the first hiccup, we can't complain. We can, but we're gonna choose to try not to in this situation and just learn that having a PCR test, no matter where you are traveling, is like having backup traveler's insurance. You know, I, I think we both highly recommend that no matter where you're going, just get a test, even if you have the vaccine. But we thought the vaccine would help with making traveling smoother, which, I'm sure it will in other ways, but anyway, I don't want to ramble and stay stuck on this. We just wanted to let you guys know that we made it to Heathrow, and soon enough we will be on that flight to Athens. Uh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We made it to Greece. Seven hours of travel and... I think it's like 30 something now. Good job. We're here. And we finally woke up. <laughs> Can we tell them what time it is? Oh, that's scary. I know. 2.17 in the afternoon. That's not a.m. That's p.m. <laughs> we were so exhausted though. So exhausted. I don't think we went to bed until 3 or 4 a.m. I think we ate dinner. There were a bunch of restaurants that were still hopping. Yeah, we were eating dinner at 1 a.m. Yep. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. I'm gonna see our balcony. Also extremely grateful that we have air conditioning because it's 97 degrees out, which is apparently one of the cooler days. Oh yeah, it's a hot one. Oof. Babe, wait till you try this coffee. We slept just so, so hard. Look at how cute our bedroom is. It even has Mr. and Mrs. above it. <laughs> it's as if she knew who we were. All we had to do was fill the adventure in. Yeah, and I'm hiding my face because I have a swollen eyelid. That's all right, babes. I'll show you it for a sec, it's this one. But I've been doing a warm compress and I hope it goes down. No. We gotta figure out what we're doing today. Acropolis. We'll make it out in time for sunset. What time sunset at? Are you beautiful enough yet in there? Yeah. It's only so often I get running water in a mirror to look into. <laughs> Do you guys see these? Beautiful, perfect European figs. Let's I am go. so excited for this. Let's do it. Chin chin. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Oh, so good. Look at that. Oh. oh. Wow, yours is really juicy. I know. <laughs> I'm so grateful for everything right now. Oh my. The joy of travels and eating. Getting to eat things. these delicacies and exotic foods and fruits. And, mm. I can't wait for you guys to get back out there once you feel safe and ready again. Yeah. Okay, you're signed In the midst of this. Your coffee's ready. As much as jet lag is confusing, I kind of love the days of New country, new foods, new time. What day or time is it? Where am I? The time is now 5.26 and we're ready to begin our day. We will be heading up to the Acropolis, which houses the Parthenon and a few other of the most incredible historic buildings possibly our world has ever known. And Drew and I were discussing, you know, traveling for the first time again since COVID is a totally different experience than how it used to be, but it's completely worth it, at least for us. We are doing what makes us come alive. We feel safe and happy and well being here. And we hope that you guys feel safe and happy and well doing whatever it is that you're doing at this very moment. And we're just grateful that we get to take you guys along at least virtually for the adventures that lie ahead. So let's go and see what's outside of these walls. Into the ancient walls of Athens. is the line for the Acropolis. It's insane that it's only this long. There were maybe 12 people in line for what is one of the most recognizable icons and most popular tourist attractions in the world. This place receives about 7.2 million visitors per year. Well, at least before 2020. It's really empty. It's kind of crazy. It's wonderful. You can just barely see the smoke also that has been on the news about the wildfires burning yeah Athens. right now they're not affecting our climate or our weather at all as you can see it's purely blue and sunny really fortunate that we came out in the evening hours when it's a little bit cooler it might be pretty hot and close to 100 degrees but at least it's extremely dry i'm not even sweating maybe under my arms a little bit but just breaking a sweat barely barely, barely. that right there is the amphitheater and the birthplace of theater as we know it and love it today. One of the most incredible things about the Acropolis, the birthplace of Western democracy, of theater, and so many of the things that we get to enjoy 
thousands of years later. It's so crazy. Here, this is where it was born. This is the beginning of Europe, the beginning of so much. It's a crazy mix between the traditional, the old, modern and contemporary with the city all around these historic sites. The colliding of our worlds and time. This is the place that the ancient theater was born and developed, both as an artistic and as an architectural concept. Isn't that amazing? Really cool. Yeah. The earliest play dates back in 534 BC. Look at this. Here. I just read that 17 to 19,000 people would be seated all in these stands right here. Wow, we just came up a few more steps and you can start to see the entire city of Athens. We could also see the Greek flag on top of Mount Lycabetus, which was said to have been placed by two boys during the Nazi occupation of World War II and kept there as a reminder of their bravery and courage. What we're looking at here is the cave of St. Mary, and Athenian mothers would come here to pray for their ill children. You can really start to see the smoke coming in now that we're on the other side of the Acropolis. Just praying for everyone who's being affected right now. As we made our way to the top of the Acropolis, which in Greek means a fortified hill within a city, we began to imagine and experience the grandeur that visitors to the Parthenon would have felt centuries before. The ancient entrance to the Acropolis. Here we are. The Propylaea, or main entrance, surrounded us with immense regal columns of marble that have somehow withstood the test of time and ravages of many wars. The Parthenon is known as the most perfectly constructed and designed building according to like its proportions and all the little intricacies that went into it being built. And it's also the most replicated structure in the world. Remember we went to the Parthenon in Nashville? Yeah, Yeah. we took Lucky Blue there. So special. While most Acropolises are built for military and defense, the Athens Acropolis was built for spiritual purposes. And we felt truly humbled being able to witness this spectacular wonder from the past, which also felt like a symbol of resilience and the best place for us to be launching this new chapter of travel and life together. You can see some of the restoration projects at work here. They began about 30 years ago and will likely go on for 30 more. I also love that they have little openings in the sidewalk to show you the old stones. To try and imagine how they built this back in like 500 BC is like unimaginable. This is basically the largest and heaviest jigsaw puzzle in the world. We're also still searching for that famous olive tree that sprouted up from the ground when Athena struck the ground and it declared her the ruler of Athens. It was between her and Poseidon. And when Poseidon struck the ground, water shot out. Historically, it's said that he just burst a main water pipe in a neighboring town, which isn't truly what happened, but that's what mythology says. But I think we're ready to call it a day. That must be the bell. It's so spectacular. The sun is setting right now, babes. I know, it's so hard to leave right now. They're kicking us out and it's the best light hour. I know, it's cooled down. Sunset lighting is magic. It's glowing. It has been an absolute wild ride with highs and lows getting here, a couple loops and hoops we've had to jump, but it is all worth it for places like this and just stimulation of our minds, our curiosity, and things we get to do together. We're gonna be here for a whole nother month and the next time we see you will likely be in Greece's first national park and the highest point in the country. We'll leave it at that. We're renting a car. Remember that international driver's license I had? It's gonna, it's gonna work out here, use. yeah. <laughs> but subscribe if you have not done so already. It really helps out our channel and it makes our hearts sing every time you tap that bell. It helps us grow, helps us reach more people. Efaristo. Efaristo. We're not saying it right, but that means thank you in Greece. Yeah, our cab driver <laughs> tossed that last night. But we love you all, we'll see you soon. Stay safe, be well and happy and know that you're loved. See you guys next time. They're closing. They're closing. They're closing.